According to Mike Watmon, a businessman in Kampala, Tuesday's events were very shocking and totally uncalled for, adding that Ugandans and normally peace-loving people and that government had achieved in guaranteeing people to sleep. He added that when terrorists interrupt their activities, it causes a lot of psychological shock and economic disruption because they cannot do their economic activities when they are living under threat of terrorism and unsure of their next security. A banker, Fred Kanamwanji, also said that it is terrible, especially when it starts happening in areas where the concentration of people is, urging the government to do a lot to ensure that people are protected. Security analyst Grace Masiko believes the country could be headed for tougher times as the terrorists are changing faces and tactics. The explosions caused chaos in Kampala as uh, terrified residents fled the city's center. 24 hours after the incident, economic activities were returning to normal, but areas close to the parliament house are remained under strict security and forensics experts comb for clues and evidence. The Islamic State group claimed the responsibility for the blasts, according to site which tracks the online activities of extremist organizations.